thermal nuclear reactor. There are more stars in the universe than there are grains of sand on Earth. So what does that mean and how do stars form? So that's what we're going to start off with. Now, when we talk about how stars form, we have to think about what are stars made up of. Stars are made up of hot gases. Now, what are these hot gases? Well, most of those gases start off as being hydrogen. So we will start off with saying that stars form from materials in a nebula when gravity pulls them together. Now, in the early phase when this happens, we call this a protostar. Now, if this mass is too small, if too small, it will shrink away and die before forming a full-on star. But if it keeps on collecting, then it becomes a full star. And the star will undergo around a core temperature of 10 million degrees Celsius and will undergo its fusion process. And that's when a star begins to glow. Now there's different ways we could talk about the evolution of a star and how it will die. Okay? So the first type of star we're going to talk about are called the low mass stars. Low mass stars are small. They're smaller than our sun. Because of that, they're dim. And they're cool red dwarfs because of that, we call them. And because they're cool red dwarfs, first of all, dwarfs or stars are smaller than our sun. They can last 100 billion years. And they, because, of that, because of how slow and cool they burn, they will eventually turn into, when they die, they will turn into hot, dim white dwarfs. Now there's a second type of star size. We're going to talk, call them intermediate, which our sun is part of. Intermediate you can think of as the medium sized stars. These ones are, they are brighter, and they could burn for about 10 billion years. And when these die, they will turn into a red giant. And eventually, they will turn into a dim white dwarf after it sheds its materials away. And this dim white dwarf will eventually turn into a black dwarf as it cools. So this intermediate star, like our sun, it's brighter. It burns for 10 billion years. It finally grows into a red giant when it burnt away most of its hydrogen core. It will turn into a dim white dwarf, and then it turns into a black dwarf. Now these colors and sizes, we'll talk more about when we get to a specific chart. Now, high mass stars are the next category we're going to talk about. High mass are larger than our sun. And these burn very fast. And they last around 7 billion years. Now, depending on their size, they could die in two different ways. So how they die. Okay, so step one, how they die. The first way they could die is they could collapse on itself and lead to what we call a supernova, which is a giant explosion that spreads out the guts of a star. But if they're just about a little bit, about 12 times to 15 times our sun size, 
they lead to another form of death, which means that they actually collapse back on itself. The core collapses on itself after supernova and turns into what we call a neutron star. A neutron star is approximately 10 kilometer in size but it is just as massive as the old star. It contains just as much matter. And it takes about a trillion years to cool down. It burns at around 10,000, 10, 100 million degrees Celsius. So when we say high mass, we're really talking about 12 times or more of our sun. We're talking about intermediate, we're really talking about our sun. But what about black holes? How do black holes form? A black hole is formed now when there is a massive star that is around 25 times or more than our sun. Will collapse into a black hole after a supernova. And the reason why it's called black hole is because its immense gravity is so strong, not even light can escape its gravity. That's why it's called black hole. And a couple of years ago, a, a bunch of scientists from LIGO detected what we call gravitational waves. And it found that waves were traveling to Earth from two black holes that collided with each other. Now what we're going to talk about is how big stars are and how we classify stars. So stars can be thought of as this. Okay, Now imagine this. The sun equals a volleyball. Yes, our sun is the size of a volleyball, which is about 26 centimeters across. Well, there's a star in our galaxy called Arcturus. And this star would be now approximately 6.5 meters across, about the size of a truck. This next star, Betelgeuse, is going to be about 170 meters across, which is about two fields. And lastly, Vy Canis Majoris, which at one point was classified as the largest star, will be about 780 meters across, which is almost one kilometer. That's the size of how big stars can grow. But how do we classify stars? Well, if you look at this, this is called a Hertzsprung-Russell diagram. In this diagram, it classifies stars based on two things. Its color, its luminosity, and its temperature. On the right side are the cooler temperature stars. On the left side are the, are the um, hotter temperature stars. So as you notice, the blue stars are much hotter. The red stars are much cooler. And right here is the main belt star, where majority of stars lie. Where we have dwarfs, which are smaller than our sun. We have giants, which are larger than our sun. And what you can see is that most stars are amongst this, are part of this line. Now, how do we classify stars then? Well, we classify stars based on three things. The first thing we classify star is temperature. Temperature basically tells us what color the star will be. It determines color. Where we have red, which is about 3,000 degrees Celsius, to blue, which is, can go up to 35,000 degrees surface Celsius, so the surface temperature. We have spectral lines. Spectral lines tell us what chemicals are in the star. Determines composition of star. And the last one is motion. And we learned about motion in a previous lesson. This is basically, is it moving towards us? If it is, it's blue shift. Or if it's moving away from us, it's redshift. So this is the way you can classify stars 
above this Hertzsprung Russell uh, diagram. As always, make sure that you stay safe and healthy, and I'll see you soon.